Google Slides trick time. So this resource I have right here is from the Lucky Little Toolkit. It was just added as a digital update. So if you have that already, go ahead and download it and you'll get this update. Um, but basically it's a Google slideshow that has all of these math manipulatives right there in there. And if the students click present, then they can click on any of these objects and get right to that manipulative. So we're gonna go to the, just to the tens frame. And when they're in present, they'll click on this and it will go right to this slide. But since we're not in present, we'll just do that. And let's, we're gonna go over today how to duplicate an item. So you have like unlimited drags and drops and it doesn't just take the one item we have away and they only have one item. And then also how to line things up so that you don't have to drag pieces one by one on top of each other. So you can see here, I, I took one of these counters over, but I still have more right here. It didn't just take the one it looked like it was. So we're gonna add another counter. Um, we're gonna add a counter that's a smiley face and we'll make it a size that will fit in here, just like that. And we're gonna fill it. You can do this with any um, image. So you could go insert an image and have a clip art image and do this. Um, you could have a photo. You can do this with any image that you have in Google Slides. So then what you're gonna do is you're going to zoom out a little bit. So you can, I do this so I can just use the side space so I don't interfere with anything that's already on the slide. And then you're going to duplicate this object. So rather than like copying and pasting it over and over and over and over again, I do Command D and I'm on a Mac and you just, every time I'm pushing D, it's making another one. And I can hold it down and just go, go, go and make a whole bunch. Oh, you can see there was one left from earlier when I was playing with it, we'll get rid of that one. And then we're going to drag over all of those items. I do not want to drag them one by one into a stack. So I just clicked and made a big square all for these. And then I'm going to right click. And I'm going to go on align horizontally and click center. And then I right click again and align vertically, middle. And now all of those copies I made are right here in a beautiful stack. And they're all still selected. So when I drag them over here, they all came over just like that. So now, when I want to use these smiley faces as a counter for my tens frame, I can drag, or you can click and then use your arrow keys. And there's another one, and there's another one, and there's another one. You can see like it looks like it's never ending right here, even though you as the creator, you know there's eventually going to be an end, but chances are your students are not going to get to that point. So that's how you align objects and make infinity or unlimited number of objects to drag and drop in Google Slides. So I hope you that was helpful and I hope you check out, if you have the lucky little toolkit, I hope you check this one out um, in your digital resources inside the toolkit because it's pretty, pretty cool.